This is a vertically integrated firm with market power, evaluates the performance of its personnel of its upstream and downstream divisions based on the division's profitability. To provide incentives for overall profit maximization, it is important that the upstream firm's output be valued at, and the answer is the marginal cost of the last unit of the upstream firm's output. So remember, the problem with double marginalization was when the upstream firm charged a higher price to the downstream firm than their marginal cost for that input, so, or for that output. So we want to, if we own both the upstream firm and the downstream firm, and we're worried about profit maximization, which most firms are, we want to make sure that, that mar uh, the marginal cost of the upstream firm is equal to the price they charge the downstream firm. So the next question is also about um, double marginalization. It says, if an upstream monopoly that produces inputs um, and a downstream monopoly that purchases those inputs and produces a final product merge, which of the following is true? So now two companies, two firms have merged into one firm, so we've gotten rid of double marginalization, and let's take a look at the answer choices. A says, consumers are worse off because there is even more monopoly power, resulting in higher prices. This is false because we learn through the example in the problem sets that if we kill double marginalization, the consumers are actually better off because they'll pay lower prices. So we can cancel out A. B says, total profit is higher because the integrated firms can raise prices. Well, it's true that total profit is higher, but the reasoning here is false because we know that prices actually drop. Total profits are higher because they can afford to lower prices and sell a lot more quantity, and they do increase profit. So B is wrong, we can cross that off. C says, the merger is almost certain to be challenged by the Department of Justice since it increases the herfindahl hirschman index to 10,000. It's kind of a nonsense answer. We don't know that at all. We can't assume that, so that's false. D says, Nothing changes from a consumer's perspective because both firms were already monopolies. Again, we know that's false because the prices do decrease when we kill double marginalization. So D, we can cross off because customers are going to enjoy lower prices. Therefore, the answer for this one is E, none of the above.